Seems simple enough. Maybe I need more pockets. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Be patient, be well. You're not sick. Not sick at all. Wait in line. Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line. Be patient, be well. so well. Here to see the top. Oh, not so well. Quickly then. Oh, not so well. Yes, yes. But all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. of recognition in her eyes as she studies you. The unseen wounds of war. The doctor's hand will close them. Down to the theater. Be swift. Be saved. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Never wanted the easy path. Let's see what this does. Chops, toy maker, and patron of mischievous children all over. Here rests Patrick Foundy, famed tailor and teetotaler. He clothed many a man's back. I need a quick word. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. 
See that corpse? Arabella's father in the oh-so-decaying flesh. Most unorthodox. But I am not one to question the doctor's methods. Do you need something of me? Not dead. Merely medicated to ease the pain. The patient is asleep. The sedative is quite strong, you see.
now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to tend to my patient. The corpse has nothing to say. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Brad. remains silent. It does not know. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. breathing, despite everything. What a charmer. Ooh. Soldier? Let's move. Can't slow down. on my mind and well it is keep your distance darling someone there I've got a long road ahead This 
get going. At the ready. Wish I had a bag of holding. Garrison King. Can't give up now. Should mind my step. Greeting. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. 
We can hardly hear the patient sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. A curse? Nay, a cure that leads to the very pinnacle of being. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. He's just like Kazdor. Utterly insane. See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. Blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Then I dub thee, master. What say you to the master, sisters? The scalpel soothes. Come sing its song. We would hear your melody of mercy.
this. Master Surgeon's will the next is my instrument, honor. sister. There was nothing.
Something good here, I hope. Piles of bodies. Very old by the looks of them. Our hero thought but a treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark he went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. Until it was perfect. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering. But I can... Set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, Chances are, many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? What are we talking here? Lemia? Pit Fiend? Orthon? Getting warmer. Warmer. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Wait. Before you go, I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> If you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter? A warning, or a deed of ownership. I can give you all the gory details, and I will. Once the beast that lurks below is vanquished and sent back to the hells. What's not to like? We kill some horrible beastie, and I get what I want in return. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Except the beastie. Then we have an understanding. I look forward 
to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. These sigils and chains. I sense a druidic hand. dark rituals here. Isabel Thorne. The trap's been disarmed. Or broken. Catherick has a daughter, Isabel. What's become of her? An interesting sigil. Not that I know or care who it belongs to. Reclaimed bones turned into strange effigies. Their meaning is lost on you. Hmm? Let's crack it open. At least things have stayed interesting. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Let's see. like there's a temple under this place and something deadly sealed inside it be wary this place is trapped whoever that elf is he's got an army of shah worshippers at his command Well, that ends. I'm about to go. Trap. Be cautious. Looks like that elf lost someone dear to him. Oh. 
That bright tower. It's moonrise. Or it used to be. Never wanted the to the goddess Shah, which probably isn't good news. Oh, I cursed to put my hands on everything. Offer your pain to Shah's embrace. Hear the night song. Shah's warriors must not be caught. Must not be tricked. Only misleads the unworthy. A voice. Shah has a child who speaks. Someone doesn't like visitors.
What's in here? The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. The Raven always knows. We have it. Her lies, her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. Careful, for a serpent in life is a serpent in death. Witness. <sighs> <sighs> That I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was going to chat with him. She promised. She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. <laughs> what have you done to me? Not to the point of killing this body! You will join me in the darkness of oblivion! You treacherous insect! No time for mercy. for this.
<laughs> Still breathing, despite everything. inside. Seems simple enough. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! He's with me. Come. Jahira! Through the grapevine? Kindness is too often a decoy. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... ...it's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. in the Absolute's manipulations. Harpers, cut this true soul down! Stop! What are you doing? He's the one who saved us! He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Save two of my friends. One from a harpy, and one from a mad druid with a snake. I didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? What in the hell is that thing? 
Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Blood this is heavy. It's for a good call. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. THE Jahira. Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. Yeah. There's more where that came from. Wish we had stone or steel. 